Oh, 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 oh. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. We are on to guide two of our spooky swing series here on the Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. And this is where we celebrate all things seasonally spooky by building a few West Coast swing moves that are, sure, they start with basics, but they get a little creative to celebrate the season along the way. For the second guide, we are doing a variation on an open whip and an outside turn, and we're calling this the Owl in the Hollow. So imagine you're trick-or-treating or maybe just walking along, there's a chill in the air, and these bright yellow eyes look at you from inside a tree. You don't know what it is? Turns out to be an innocent owl. <laughs> we will demo this for you and then break it down when you follow, of course. One, two, three, four. down for our leaders. If we dance this without the exaggerated shaping, this is basically an open whip where we don't pick up the other hand. And likewise, followers, we can negotiate this without the one for the turn by simply ending up in shadow position. I'll show you how. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can still be an L and you can take it easy. Seven and eight. However, since it's Halloween and we're being silly, we are going to really exaggerate that shaping leaders. So I'm almost imagining I'm in a hula hoop around my like, rib cage, and I'm thinking about shaping along the back side of that hoop. You'll also notice as we're going through this moment from two into three, I'm really delaying this rotation here to almost hold my follower back so that we can accelerate into that prep for the one for the spin. Yeah, and for our followers, when we feel that shaping, we're gonna know we have the opportunity to be creative as well. We can land on that foot and go from here. I then like to use my arm <laughs> to be the owl, and I also like to counter that balance by taking my right side of body away and using my leg as well. We can call that a second wing, we can call that the foot, it doesn't really matter. The point is, as we do the one for the turn, that we're shaping away from the point of connection with our leader to be the owl. That was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, and check out our website and online store. Links in the description. We'll see you next week for another spooky move.